This is video number eight of the series on panels, and it's going to be the last one of this series, in which we're going to be looking at icons 18 to 24 in the top bar. In order to do that, we're going to use a file that includes the icon bar, and we're going to be looking at 18 to 24. The reference book icon is this one, number 18. Oh, what it does is opens up this uh, little panel where the author of the software has included some information regarding basic mathematical expressions. It's not uh, very complicated. It just gives you information that you will find useful as a reference. That's the reference book. The show the show hide side panels is this one. It just hides the panels. Let's keep them hidden. Then we have the recalculate page. This the recalculate page and the interrupt processing were presented in the calculation menu. Recalculate page interrupt processing. Those are straightforward. The recalculate page. If you if you have auto calculation off, then do the recalculate page to calculate your page all over. But we want to keep this auto auto calculation on. Then we have the interrupt process. That's when you have a process that's taking too long. The, the your program seems to be uh, trapped in a in a loop, and you want to use that to stop the problem. Then we have this pause, continue, and step into icons, and those are related to debugging. Debugging is the art of figuring out what's wrong with a program and fixing the program accordingly. That is an issue that is more complicated and is going to be addressed in different videos. And then we have the bottom bar of the program which refers to this right here. The bottom bar has about five icons. The first one is just tells you which page you are in. The second one tells you that everything is ready. If there's a problem, it will have a different message. Then the next one has to do with the document layout. So what is the document layout? In order to do that, I need to have like at least two pages. So I'm going to open a second page in here. And so if you go here and select the pages view, hmm, that's, that's the one that's actually selected. The pages view basically means that each, each page is going to be shown with margins in separate, in separate um, frames like this. If you click printing bounds, it will show the area that will be printed without margins by these broken lines and then it will also show where the pages separation occurs like in this particular uh, broken line. And finally, if you say no bounds, then it won't show the, the, the bounds that you can see there. You just have to be careful because you can use this to, you know, do, do notations, notes. But these notes are not going to show in the printout you have to go back to page view to see what it's going to get printed in your um, in your printout. Then we have this zoom. I already show you how to do it. You can keep increasing, and it tells you what percentage you have in there, or you can keep decreasing it by increment or decrement of 25%, and you can relocate it this way or simply go back to 100%, which is the standard format. Finally, in the lower right corner, you have a, a grab that you can reduce the entire, the entire um, worksheet. Or you can go to the margins here to the right, to the top bottom, to the left, to the top. And with that, we finish the presentations regarding the top bar and the collection 
of videos on panels for SMS studio.